Hey, what's going on, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with an inspired video from the community. A lot of people have been asking me, hey, can you make a free-to-play X? What should free-to-play do? Y? I'm a free-to-play, should I Z? And uh, these are great questions because in my mind, a game is only as good as the amount of fun you have. And whether you have fun by playing or by being competitive or by spending money to see very big numbers, uh, no one can tell you what is and isn't fun. That said, uh, I think we have to agree on one thing, and that is that in 2020, and probably for the last couple years, being a free-to-play player does put you at a somewhat disadvantage just in general and and that makes sense right like it's logical someone who spends more money to something is more likely to be successful that doesn't guarantee anything that doesn't mean a free-to-play player can't succeed it definitely doesn't mean a free-to-play player can't have fun and most importantly it doesn't mean for not spending money you're any less um or greater than anybody else you're playing the game to your enjoyment so as long as you, as a free-to-play player, accept the fact that there will be people who are a little bit faster, a little bit stronger, uh, better, for lack of better word, with a better roster, maybe that's uh, more clear, uh, you can still have fun, not only in Disney Sorcerer's Arena, but truly in any game. Uh, and I don't want to go into a diatribe of all the games I play as free-to-play, uh, because I do spend quite a bit of money in games, but I do keep track of my friends. I have a close group of friends that I game with, and some of them are dedicated free-to-play players. Uh, not necessarily because of financial reasons, but just it's how they enjoy to play. They enjoy the experience of playing the game unterred by spending, like what the game was supposed to be in their minds, and, and I support that. So when I give advice, uh, when I tell you what the best team is, it is independent of whether you're spending money or not. If I tell you as a player that you should work on the downtown villains characters, that doesn't make a difference how much you spend. Uh, the idea by why I'm telling you to work on these characters is because of uh, their usability across the game. Scrooge McDuck's Money Heist. This is an example of a game mode that uh, uses downtown villains and if you had worked on them you could progress more in this whether you spend money to work on them or whether you're free to play and you can't quite do it immediately that's okay uh, this isn't going away this isn't a one-time event uh, it will come back and hopefully by the next time it comes back you can do a little bit better and that's truly how most of these games are played these games are not races when you race to the finish line you just stand there when you play it like a marathon you will be able to find enjoyment over time. Tiny little growth will matter. And if you are willing to spend money, it's it's important to know that the money you spend equals growth, you know? Whether that's uh, $10 for a VIP package that gives you a little bit extra farming, or whether it's $1,000 because you really want everything at the highest number, you know, that's up to you. But as long as you feel like you're progressing in a game, it's my belief that you have the ability to enjoy it. Uh, and this game, uh, on a personal note, uh, Disney's been a part of my life for a very long time, and I imagine it's true of a lot of people. So this game is kind of cathartic in a way where I get to use characters that I've loved since my childhood, uh, and it doesn't necessarily matter to me how good or how bad they are. Uh, I love Aladdin, so whether he was good or bad, I was going to get him and probably use him. Uh, I'm sure that's true of a lot of people in Jack uh, Skellington and probably a lot of people in Darkwing Duck. But the, the point is, if you're not having fun, you shouldn't be playing a game. When the game is fun. Now, all that being said, let's talk about what you're going to lose as a free-to-play player and how you can make up to that to maintain a level of competitiveness. Not the most competitive, but a level of competitiveness. Um, we're going to just go through this, not even bullet points, just kind of free bit this one. Uh, basically, uh, your time as a free-to-play player is worth almost infinitely more than the time of someone willing to spend money. And that's because you can't necessarily afford to miss something. What does that mean? Well, quite simply, it means 
it's very important that you as a free to play player shows up for the free campaign energy when it comes out for 38 minutes i have to wait before i get my next energy refresh you want to make sure you're getting these every piece of energy you get is going to help you progress where otherwise players may be spending money buying cores refreshing their energy that you necessarily might not be able to uh, in addition while we're in the screen any opportunity you have to watch an ad for free anything whether it be uh, a cut what is this nine total gems doesn't seem like much but it takes how much time out of your life a minute and 30 seconds uh, moving into some of the stores you will see that there are ad chests uh, you can watch these 10 times a day and you'll get 20 total gems uh, a decent chunk of gold and a decent chunk of potions i know it seems like this but this is basically free stuff all it costs you is time and as we already said your time means more and how you spend it in the game i spend a decent amount of money in this game so i can play for 25 minutes or four hours if i want a pvp arena for a while you know that's that's my ability to play the game that's what i've afforded by by spending money you without spending are probably going to have to spend a little bit more time that doesn't mean you're going to have to sp play the game for nine hours a day but you do want to make sure certain things are met you want to make sure you show up when there's a free energy so keep your notifications on you want to make sure that you don't sit at energy cap for the entire time you want to make sure like me i'm sitting at energy cap because it's okay for me for you this is not okay please make sure you spend energy when you can there's always something you need to be working on i promise that's the way the game is for everybody even for me for you not gaining any additional energy is going to end up hurting you obviously not everyone can hit every energy refresh all the time not everyone can min max their value and make sure that uh, at 109 you know they can uh, come sign in every time it's okay just just be a little bit more aware um the second thing i want to talk about as a free-to-play player is gems now i've kind of talked about this before but i don't think there's a problem with reiterating it gems are a very limited resource now whether you are paying for them whether you have decided to you know my previous free uh gem offer video where you want to do your tap joy to play other games and make a little bit more uh, gem income, uh, or whether you're just getting your free gems based on your Sorcerer's Tournament. You need to be careful with how you use gems. The first thing I will say is absolutely worth it is purchasing energy refreshes up to 50. Now, a free-to-play player is guaranteed to get 120 energy. Another thing is, every time you see request energy, request reset, request uh, node farm any opportunity you have to click this button you click this button every time i probably have quite a few one two uh let's see who i haven't farmed lately i'm currently farming her so let's see let's uh farm her real quick Refresh attempts. Nope, I'm not spending on it. Request attempt. You want to make sure that you click this. It costs you nothing. It costs your club nothing. It is completely free to everybody. So if you lose out on this, you're only hurting yourself. Obviously, it's important to be in a club that kind of maintains this. Uh, everyone will probably know at this point that whenever there's a request anywhere in the game, it will show up down here. You can also find it by going into clubs and checking out what people have requested. So, hey, look, a whole bunch of my friends have requested items. I'm gonna go out of my way to help them. They're gonna go out of their way to help me. But as of right now, the only person who's requesting free energy from my friends is me. So over time, someone's gonna throw this to me. It's gonna be very helpful overall. Another thing to note is you can watch a video for bonus energy. Uh, you can also watch a video to generate energy faster i believe you get one or two extra energy every you know pip so this is one energy every five minutes this will be either two or three energy every five minutes this will help you especially if you want to be more active and the beautiful thing about this game is when you're out of energy you're not done playing so if you're waiting for your energy to refill if you're waiting to 
uh, get a claim to refresh an exchange that you're farming right now, then boop, request refresh. And always, just a note, make sure you are on the store you want to refresh. <laughs> it's important. I've made this mistake many times. I like to refresh the gold store because there's always something in the gold store that I want. So when that claim goes through, I will make sure to uh, take it here. Uh, refreshing this store, it seems like it makes sense, but you very rarely have enough extra currency. And in reality, all you're doing is taking away from the next purchase you were going to get for free anyway. Um, so the only time I would ever do this is if I had the, the exact amount I needed to either star up or unlock the character that I was working on, or maybe even finish them, get that seventh star, you know? Uh, other than that, I don't think there's much worth refreshing anything but maybe these two stores and the gold store if you're spending your time energy and you're spending your farm like you're gonna have a decent amount of gold maybe not as much as i do uh, but again a lot of this gold comes from just spending energy you get a decent amount of gold in the game so you want to make sure that you are buying items that are meaningful to you don't worry so much about stockpiling right now uh, that's kind of a luxury, but always make sure you're buying gear that you know a character or more will need. Uh, another thing as a free-to-play player uh, that I just mentioned earlier is the amount of time you can spend in PvP Arena. Now, um, there is a, a very soft cap as to when your success is going to uh, start dwindling, and that is you know, as you get to maybe gold, maybe platinum, and you start facing off against people who have spent a pretty decent chunk of money. Most of the time when you get paired in PvP Arena, it does try to pair someone close to your team's power. I'll just show you real quick whether it gives me a real person or a robot person, and I'll show you how to determine that in a second. Excellent. This is a robot person. Uh, it is very unlikely that Lamina with no club is in Platinum 3 with this team. You'll learn over time what type of teams aren't necessarily uh, pre-constructed teams. And you're going to go ahead and beat them, right? You're going to beat them because you built a team uh, that one, you're piloting and you're smarter than the AI. Two, uh, you've designed. Right? You've chosen to work with the team, whether it be the downtown villains, whether it be kingdom, whether it be downtown heroes or wilds or anything like that. You've made the decisions for that team. So you have better control over this team, which clearly is just five random characters. I know I was going to win this fight and I knew I was going to win it on auto, mainly because it was a robot that uh, even though they were a little bit stronger overall than my team, they didn't pose any real threat to me over the course of the fight. And just to kind of showcase a little bit of what these characters are doing, it's a lot. I have a lot of investment in these characters. I believe in them. I believe these are good. So just getting this fight out of the way. But this is the game mode that allows you to play for free, allows you to test, the worst thing about this game mode, you've heard me say many times, is that I can't quit. I would love to be able to say, oh, I can't win this fight. Uh, I'm just going to quit. Uh, hopefully they change that. Hopefully they add that in the game. Until they do, uh, it is unfortunate, but it still will help you get a feel for the characters, get a feel for the game, especially if you do what I've said before, which is get characters that you like up to level 40, gear tier four, four star. That's usually when you start feeling a difference in characters, when they start producing what I believe they should be producing for your team. Um, other than that, I don't think there's much to show on that. So those are a couple of tips for a free to play player. The, the final tip is a little bit more philosophical in nature. I, I want you as a free to play player to accept the fact that there are going to be people who are stronger than you. There are going to be people who are doing the same thing as you, but a little bit further along. And there are going to be people who are doing something that's completely off from what you're doing. There are going to be players who are willing to spend a ton of money and buy whatever the new hotness characters are. You may end up seeing a Jafar, you know, you may end up seeing a, a, a Scar or a Manticore characters that Ultimately, free-to-play players don't have a great experience getting on their first pass. That's okay. That's not the game you're playing. It's a different, like, tier. You're now playing the game to have fun, of course, to uh, grow 
and hopefully to have fun with your friends, right? People you've met in your club or otherwise. So there are some optimal things. I've already talked about them. Make sure at the end of the day that you're working on characters, one, that you like, and two, that are pretty reasonable towards your growth. Uh, whether it be towards progressing in a tower, being more successful in sorcerer's tournament, whether you're hedging to make sure you can complete events like the Cave of Wonders or the Scrooge's Money Bin or any events you may have heard about from other beta players like how Downtown Villains unlock Zerg or how G uh, General Heroes at 4, 5, and 6 star will help you unlock Scar uh, during the event. You know, whatever it is, make sure that you have a goal. Don't set five goals. Don't worry that someone else has 10 or 15 things that you don't have right now. They're not playing the same game you're playing and they're having their own kind of fun. What you need to worry about is that you're having fun and you're progressing at a rate that makes you enjoy the game. And if you do happen to scrape together five or $10 that you feel you want to throw into the game, then you can worry about what you're buying and when and whether it's worth it or not. But other than that completely, I want you as a free to play player to know that you are not only welcome, but an important part of any game that you play because you get to build an entire community uh, around progressing at a base level you become the level of growth and the amount of time and effort that you spend growing puts you ahead of the average other player regardless of how much they've spent because you're gaining knowledge and information and you're working hard to to learn things so you don't get to make as many mistakes but when you do things well you get rewarded tremendously uh, hopefully that was a helpful video hopefully you know, that kind of doubled down on the idea that while not every game is free to play friendly, there's always a free to play aspect. And uh, truly, ultimately, if you're playing a game, you should be having fun. So hopefully you guys are having fun. Uh, please feel free to comment below and let me know if you are free to play or if you're a casual spender. We call them guppies, dolphins and whales and all these aquatic oceanic animals. But let me know how you feel about the game. Obviously, sometimes things are unfortunate like you won't get something on the first pass but they'll come back so just overall let me know what you think about the game uh and um hopefully you enjoyed this video so i want you guys to have a good night have a great day i've been tony skinjili and i'll catch you later